Tom Brady has dominated the NFL for over 20 years, so today I'm recreating his offense in Madden so that you can destroy defenses just like him. To run Tom Brady's offense, there's a few key plays and three key principles we need to go over. We're going to be using the New England Patriots playbook for this scheme as it has all of Brady's favorite plays and concepts. We're going back to some Patriots game film for play number one. This is a play he used in the Super Bowl against the Rams. This is a five wide spread out formation with the outside receivers on short comebacks, the two inside receivers are on seam streaks, and the slot receiver is on an option choice route where he could go in or out, and he's going to go to Edelman right here in the Super Bowl. This play was so good that they actually ran it multiple times in a row on the final drive. To recreate this in Madden, we're going to look at the gun empty base flex, and the play is the hoss wide juke, the exact play they ran in the Super Bowl. Now against a man defense, we're going to look to that option route, and it's going to be run by our tight end where he could go inside or outside. Typically, he's going to go outside, and this is going to be a great man beating option, and the first thing you're going to want to look to if you're presented with man defense with this play. Going back to the game film here, you could see if there was off coverage on the outside, they dumped it down quick to the comebacks. Now in Madden, we're going to use this versus cover three style defenses. If we see the off coverage on the outside, we could quickly dump it down. And this is where we get to key principle number one, and that's anticipation. You want to anticipate where you're going with the ball based off what the defense shows you. So if you're seeing that off coverage on the outside, you know there's a good chance those comeback routes will be open. Now later in the same drive, he took advantage of the seam streak to Gronkowski, which set up the game winning touchdown. In Madden, we can make use of these seam streaks versus cover three style defenses. We can go to the left or we can even go to the right because seams are going to always be weak against cover three and they're going to find an opening. So when you're presented with cover three defenses, you have the outside and you have the seams that you can go to. Now when faced with cover two style defenses, the outside receivers are on option routes and they're actually going to turn into fade. So instead of doing the little comeback route, they're going to run down the sideline and this is going to allow you to attack right between the cornerback and the safety. The slot receiver on the left also will convert into a post versus cover two, which is going to be another good option. Now we're looking at some more game film and right here, Brady is using the classic spread verticals concept. You've got your four receivers all running vertical and spreading out and you have the running back curling over the middle for a little bit of a check down. He winds up taking the check down here as it was quickly available, but you also have the seam streaks that are going to create openings versus zone. To mimic this, we're going to use the play gun doubles Y flex and the play is going to be four verticals. Now against man defense, we're going to pretty much be looking mostly to the running back who has a delayed option route. This is going to do a very good job at beating man consistently. The slot receiver on the left will convert to a crossing route versus man as well, giving you another option. Now when faced with cover three style zones, again, like the previous play, we want to attack the seams because that's the weak area and that is where this play is going to really pop off. You can go to the left or you could go to the right seam. You just want to time it up and there's going to be a window there for a big completion. And of course, the running back's going to curl up underneath, which you can take advantage of just like Brady did in the clip. Brady loves taking advantage of his running back in the passing game, and you can do that with this play just like this. Against cover two style defenses, we want to attack the outsides between the cornerback and the deep safety with the deep streaks running down the sideline. This is why four verticals is so good because the popular zone coverages really struggle against this concept. Anytime you see the too high cover two look, you want to attack the sidelines and pick up big gains. And again, the left slot receiver will convert more to like a post route versus cover two, which you can also take advantage of. And don't forget about your running back check down. If he's this open underneath, take advantage of it and pick up the easy yards. The next play we're going to be looking at is another verticals concept, but this is out of the gun bunch formation. And this one, you can see the outside receivers running a comeback, the running backs running a flat route. And then we have the vertical routes on the bunch side that are going to space out and make this very hard for the defense to defend against. To mimic this, we're using the gun bunch and we're using the play Pat's verts. Now this one is a little bit different than the version Brady was running. I think for Madden purposes, this version is better, but if you want to run it like Brady did, you can put your running back on an out route by using your hot routes, the wire triangle button, selecting his icon, and then choosing the out route. You can do the same thing with X and put him on a comeback and it would look like this. But for Madden purposes, I suggest running this play stock because it's going to perform much better, especially because the running back in route is a good man beater. Now against man, we want to take advantage of the crossing route if he gets position on his defender, but the running 
running back route is going to be the real money versus man. It's going to create consistent separation and you want to take advantage of it. Against cover three style zones, this is where the vertical concept comes into play. We're going to have the seams to the tight end as he cuts up the field, which is a good quick pass. We're going to have the crossing route going deep middle if we time it up right between all of the zones. And of course, it's Tom Brady. You can't forget about your running back check down. He loves to take advantage of this and you should too. And that brings us to key principle number two, taking your check downs slash using your running back. Brady takes advantage of this all the time in any play that he runs. And if it's available, you should be taking advantage of this too. Using your running back in the passing game annoys defenses. Brady knows this and he always takes advantage. Now, if you get a cover two look with this play, you're going to do that same thing, attack the sidelines, but you want to time up the B receiver and he's going to get wide open. You can also hit the crossing route over the middle. The timing is going to be a little tougher. It is a tight window, but it's there. And once again, your running back is going to be there as well. Take advantage of him and get the easy yards. This is one of the best plays in Madden and it's one of the best plays in real life. Tom Brady loves it and it's essential to running this scheme. We're going back to some more Patriots footage here with one of the best plays that Tom Brady runs. This one is super hard to defend. You have two post routes. You have the running back leaking into the flat, which he loves, the tight end on an out route, and the slot receiver on a wheel route. Here, Tom Brady's going to actually take advantage of the quick pass to the running back like we just talked about. It's something he loves, and this is one of the easiest plays to do it with because there's so many other routes they got to respect. You can find this exact play in the Y off trips Pats formation. The play is called the Pats Y out. It's literally identical, and this is going to be a killer in this scheme. Now, against man defenses, you're going to want to look to the X receiver. He's going to create crazy separation, and if you time it up, you can get some separation from your tight end as well. Now, once we get to zone, this is where you want to abuse the running back. Here is a cover three, and you can see, just like Brady, we take the quick pass to the flat. This is a great running back quick pass, and it's something that's going to help you dominate with this scheme overall. You can also hit the X receiver against a cover three as well because he's going to find a nice opening. This play right here is a lot to deal with and it's something else that's going to take this scheme to the next level. Against cover two style defenses, again, you can quick pass the running back because the cloud flat on the outside will get pulled back. You can also look to hit the wheel route down the sideline between the corner and the safety and you have the B receiver running a deeper post which will split the safeties for a really big gain. And no Brady scheme could be complete without the run game and the bubble screen which he uses as an extension of the run game to pick up easy yards. To do this we're going to use the gun trips tight end formation and we're going to use the play RPO zone alert bubble as it gives us the option to run and pass. We want to assess the defense pre-play with this. We see that there's three defenders lined up directly over our three receivers so throwing the bubble screen doesn't make the most sense because they have the right amount of defenders but the box isn't completely stacked so the run is going to be the better option here and we're going to hand this off to our running back and pick up easy yards and that's something that Brady absolutely loves to do and that brings us to key principle number three using the run game Brady loves to use the run game and you can do this out of any formation we've gone over in this video every formation is going to have an inside zone or some type of a halfback handoff and if they're not stacking the box or it's looking weak you want to hand this off and pick up easy yards now if we see that the outside does not have a ton of defenders right here there's only two defenders we want to press the b button here and throw it to our bubble screen and pick up the easy yardage this way. This is something that can annoy defenses because they don't know if you're going to run or pass and they have to stay on their heels at all times. And if you want another play to go with this so they're not keying in on the run and the bubble screen, use the play verticals. We've broken it down already and it works the same out of this formation. Hit the seams versus cover three, hit the outside versus a cover two. Down the sideline, you have a crossing route that's going to create separation against man. And of course, you have your running back check down as well that you want to take advantage of. Now that you've got Tom Brady's scheme, you're halfway there. But if you want to learn how to pass exactly like Tom Brady and Madden, you need to check out this video right here where we go over Tom Brady's top five tips to pass just like him.